purpose of uh, establishing IFC is to create an alternate system which is free from interest and which is more according to the tenets of Islam. Considering that it was started you know, with a very small number of people and relatively limited resources, I think it has achieved a great deal. We are focused at the Council as the only party to bring together in a systematic, structured way different players within the ethical finance arena. It's there to really be the hub and help the industry grow. It's, you know, the only organisation I'm aware of that is operating uh, in the UK, i.e. Europe, in the Middle East, in, uh, in Asia and Africa as well. One of the key areas of work at the Council is government policy advisory. This is where we get involved with government agencies and government bodies to help devise a policy and to help create the legislative framework that enables Islamic finance. The key contribution it has had is to develop a program for sensitizing Sharia scholars to the workings of modern finance. Because one of the gaps we find is that Sharia scholars are not familiar with the workings of modern finance and therefore their rulings and so on are not that well informed. So the IFC seminars on scholar orientation have been probably the most noticed contribution. It's uh, something that should be of interest to everyone who has uh, values, uh, uh, an ethical component in their, uh, uh, in their financial dealings. We're trying to kind of position Scotland to become an ethical finance hub, which is quite an innovative approach for Islamic finance to be leading in such a, a kind of diverse project. For me, it's getting to know uh, many of the personalities in Islamic finance, particularly the scholars on a personal level, and seeing them uh, outside of their comfort zone and being able to relate to them and seeing how they have had to deal with some of the real world issues. The conferences which we've held have been among the highlights. These have taken place in our own offices at Todd's Murray and uh, it's brought together a wide ranging panel of speakers on each occasion, very often from different jurisdictions around the world and uh, it certainly I think broadens everyone's perspective to hear those. Certainly for me it's uh, having gone to Africa, you know, that's something I would never have imagined. I think the work of the Islamic Finance Council is very important indeed because it takes the principles of ethical finance and tries to apply them to the needs of Scotland, of the society, and some of the big opportunities that Scotland can offer. The great thing about IFC is that there are very competent people running the organization and there is knowledge, there is expertise, and it is relevant now. The level of intelligence that the guys at the IFC possess is incredible and their passion for what they do is, is admirable. So it's great now to see things starting to happen, to see results starting to be achieved. Well, it's incredibly important. Actually, Islamic finance 10 to 15 years ago was barely whispered, uh, but actually now it's been absolutely instrumental in some of the biggest deals that the UK has conducted. And the IFC has helped to raise the profile of what Islamic finance is. So it's vitally important. To me, it gives a great satisfaction, a contentment, and the sort of derive that, yes, continue your effort, Tariq. Everyone in the IFC has made those sacrifices because we firmly believe in the ideals and principles of what the IFC is trying to do. Anything that's worth anything takes dedication and sacrifice. But one thing that's very important is not to go chasing money, but indeed to also remember to make change, to leave behind social change and impact on your community. You really need to have a vision of what you want to achieve and then have the ability or the experience to know how to execute well. So what we've achieved over that time is a great example of having the right team, doing what you do professionally and having you know, a, a real sense of determination as to why you're doing this and what drives you to do this and seeing some of the fruits of that labour and some of the change in the impact. And it's very important never to forget to have some fun along the way.